Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and this is the 4th of July event, and I just finished off with the historic pickerel, and the next step on this particular mission is to catch historic chain pickerel. Now, I actually went to Emerald Lake and was unable to catch any there. I wasn't able to catch any on Mudwater River as well. But according to this, they can be found at Quanchkin and St. Croix, San Joaquin and Canique Creek. Quanchkin is the place that I caught them the last time. So honestly, in regards to moving around a whole bunch, and that's going to be expensive, we're going to have to kind of play this smart, honestly, so we don't spend all kinds of money doing all this traveling now now if the chain pickerel is at Quanchkin I know the historic muskie are at Emerald Lake so I can probably get them with the no 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 not the muskie that's the northern pike that's gonna be probably at St. Croix uh, steelhead trout and Chinook well the steelhead are gonna be found at San Joaquin and the Chinook, well, they can be in both places, but I'm, my guess is it could be either at both or Kinney Creek. We might have to actually do a little bit of both of these missions because there's others on here that we have to kind of find here. There's the historic Rainbow Trout using Old Glory. Common Snook, that's going to be in the Everglades. The Rainbow Trout is probably going to be at Colorado. Historic striped bass. Even though they are at Colorado, my guess is they probably put them mm, well either at um, no, not San Joaquin, probably at St. Croix. That's just, maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Based on this, it's saying Everglades, San Joaquin, Falcon. Kinney Creek, no, they're not going to be there. And there's no white bass there. They'd have to be there. There's no other place they could. Oh, striped bass. That's how some Quinn Keen. I was thinking white bass. Uh, the historic bull trout, that's only a Kinney Creek. Oh, boy. That's kind of tricky, guys. Honest to God, you're going to be spending a lot of money traveling. That's a lot. Can... Well, the truth be known with the rewards it might help pay for that so and I'm looking at this six swar sh six shards of Washington's battle sword I've got four of them if I get that I can put that back at George Washington's statue at Emerald Lake get the treasure map and find the independence treasure I don't know how far we're going to get. Honestly, guys, this is this is going to take a lot of time, a lot of uh, expenditure. And for the casual person like myself, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We'll see how far we can get, honestly. That's all we really can do. So I'm going to go ahead and check the fish tag coordinates here. The historic chain pickerel, I know what are Quanchkin. The historic muskie. They're going to be at St. Croix. Not sure which is going to be cheaper to go to, honestly. Let's see. Quanchkin is 8,300. St. Croix is 9,800. Obviously, Quanchkin is going to be the least. And... 
Kanik is going to be expensive. It's 10000 and you still have to pay for a license. Or at least I do anyway. I might be able to do some stuff at Falcon Lake and the other mission too. So this is going to be kind of... I'm going to be kind of playing this around. I don't know. Let's see. So the Rainbow Trail can be found there. The Snook at Everglades. Striped Bass. Yeah, it's going to be tricky, guys. I think what we're going to do first, though, we're going to go to Quanchkin Lake, try to get these chain pickerel. I do understand there's no motorboats there. Yeah, Emerald Lake did not have the chain pickerel. They did have the historic northern pike. But I didn't need those. I did that in another mission. I think it was... Maybe it was four or three of the ones I'm interested in. Let's see. Now where are these guys found? We are already at a peak here. I am going to go over here and... I think it maybe it's here. I am going to go in there and see if I can get anything at the flag and the cannon I think the cannons over here if it's not there it's over in the um, where that little hut or cabin is no oh, there's the cannon so let's see if we can get anything off of this awesome awesome that is great I only have one of these guys. I really love that. That lure is awesome. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for better, guys. Really. I wish I had about a dozen of those damn things. Everything loves them. Especially here at Quanchkin. Yeah, that was, that was a very, very profitable thing I just got there. Now let's see if anything happens here. I've got the Hellfish Arsonist Kit. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, if you go down here, you can get the Chain Pickerel. Now, you have to throw it over at the Lily Pads. And if I'm not mistaken, we have to use a specific type of lure. Let me check here, guys. The missions, what does it require? Let's see. Eagle Spoon. Yeah. So we're going to have to be very careful. Might be able to use those fireworks to help attract them. I'm hoping. <laughs> so let me go ahead and let's see. Can we set it up here? Um, well, it's not looking like I can do anything with it, honestly. Well, shoot, that's not going to help. Well, I've got the right lure. I've got the location. Let me check the peak. The peak's good. Well, all we can do is try. Really, honestly. That's all we can do. Now, there, honestly, there's some better lures for this. I'm not real fond of this for this particular species, but it's what they're requiring. Yeah, and I gotta get four of these guys. Jeez. All right, let's see. Oh, what's a snag? Damn it! I got all excited for no reason. <laughs> Damn it! Let's try over here. Ooh, there is the boat. Might have one of Washington's shards. I don't know if I got that one or not, honestly.
Well, there might be other places we can try. I'm uh, not all that confident about that location. This might be a good location as well. Let's just check it out. Well, nothing there either. Tack on it. There is one other place I might try. I have caught some over on this location as well. I wish those daggone fireworks could be set because that is supposed to attract them. I think that's what we're having to deal with is the fact that, well, we can't attract them properly. Uh, look at it. It it's grayed out, so I can't really do anything with it. All right, we're gonna try over here. See if these guys are over in this location. I did manage to catch some here before. In some past episodes. Okay, we did get something here. All right, let's see what we got here. I think we actually have a chain pickerel. And it is one. Awesome. We found them. Where's his little tag? Okay, there it is. Yeah, I couldn't see it. <laughs> 4.81 pound historic. Okay, so we found them. We found them. Very nice. I guess if you can't use the fireworks, you kind of have to rely on that lure, I guess. Shoot. Something went after it, but then it didn't quite connect. Alright, we're not getting a whole, honestly, not getting a whole lot of good stuff there. We're, we'll try over here. Let's try not to get snagged. <laughs> there we go, we got something. I don't think it's a pickerel. No, spotted bass. Spotted bass. We're going to get those. They're all in the same places. Alright, let's see. Got something here. Please be what I need. And yet, yeah, no. It's a trophy. <laughs> Damn. Usually I'd be thrilled. You can cash those guys in. So you may or may not get one. You may get a trophy or a regular or And there's another one. Now it doesn't look like. I think this is something bigger. Okay, hold on. We are. We're dealing with something a lot bigger here. Hold on. What is this? A 
Historic largemouth bass. <laughs> I don't even want that. Son of a gun. Well, we'll go ahead and release him. Yeah, you don't get any money for these guys, honestly. Well, we know that the historic largemouth bass can be found here. Let's see. Got something else here. I don't think it's what we want. The historic chain pickerel are going to be a bit bigger than that. Yeah, it's spotted. Damn it. I wish we could use the fireworks to our advantage, but I don't think we don't have that ability. Oh, come on. We need another one here, guys. We really do. Not sure, though. It's pretty big, whatever it is. It's a, sp a bass of some kind. Another historic largemouth. Damn it. <laughs> well, we're getting plenty of those guys. Not having any trouble finding them. See, we're not going to get those guys there. Let's go over here and see if we can't have any more luck. Have not tried over here. There's got to be a place where they are prevalent. We got something here. It is some kind of a pickerel. And it's a trophy. <laughs> Dear God. They're killing me, I swear to God. Trophy. Trophy chain pickerels. At least I'm getting cash, but I'm not getting anything what I need here. Now well, that's a snag. Remember, there won't be a location. As I was thinking about it, when I was over here getting unique largemouth bass, I was getting some chain pickerel over here. Now this is pretty heavily snag city, but if we can get over here to this side, I think we might have a chance. I don't know. Amen. snags that's gonna be par for the course actually I think we got a fish this time it is a pickerel and finally we got the second one it's about time Oh, we found them. Man. That was not easy. Yeah, 
and this type of lure gets snagged easily so Oh good. Well we got something here guys. I don't know what this is, but it's probably not a pickerel. I think it's a largemouth. Trophy largemouth. Not bad. Not sure how we manage that, but Yeah, this looks very different. It's like they changed a few things. I don't know what it is, but that stick up had more lily pads here and less lily pads over there so that's gonna make things a little more difficult Come on, I need another one, guys. I need four of these guys. Jeez. Historic muskie are going to be a lot easier to get than this. I only have to get two of those. I got some kind of plant. Well, maybe we can try over here. Let's if I can find an open spot where there aren't any lily pads, that would definitely make a difference, honestly. See there's one over there. This one's not too bad. Let's see what we can do here, guys. Because this is where I've caught them in the past. Now I've got a snag off the bat, but I think we got it out of there now. Come on, I need another one there. Hmm. They're killing me. Uh, we got something, but I don't think it's a chain pickerel. I think we've got us some kind of a bass here. Probably a historic bass. Oh, we got us a trophy bowfin. Nice. That's nice. Well, guys, I think we're going to be at this for a minute. <laughs> Honest to God. I tell you what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue recording. And... When we get the last one of these guys, I will put it at the beginning of the next episode because we're going to probably have to go on to St. Croix and try to get the muskies there. I tell you, these are tough to find. I mean, I know they're there and I cannot seem to find them or get them to bite. I'm getting all kinds of different species. Not, it's not like I'm lacking for bites. It's just that it's not what we're wanting. And we're even getting chain pig rope, but they're just not historic ones. Jeez.
right guys we have managed to catch one more and we'll see if this isn't one to finish it off I basically came back to the same location where I caught him the first time hoping nope <laughs> still it's still your basic chain pickerel there these guys are hard to, to get I mean you get regular chains you get spotted bass largemouth bass it's not that they're impossible to catch it's just that there's so many other species here that you can catch in addition to them all right we've probably got us a largemouth bass here judging from the amount of pressure he's put on this line nope that's it that's it guys there it is and it's a personal record biggest one I've gotten so far historic chain pick roll at 4.973 pounds all right we'll release this little guy and that is going to complete this finally jeez I didn't think I was ever going to get that guy how many got quite a few fish here you see if there any of them are historic I'm gonna go ahead and let them go because I think you're supposed to honestly yeah let's go ahead and release him release him and we'll release him everything else is ours so not too bad did manage to get 5,000 cash not sure how much a trip cost probably more than that I may need to stick around here get enough fish to pay for this trip <laughs> but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I'll be back with another episode of fishing planet during the 4th of July event I think we're going to be heading off to St. Croix see if we can get this the historic muskie and we can't get another gift here yet anyway guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye